Good day everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and today I am going to show you the difference of the report between Dialux Evo and AGI32. And please let me know which one do you really like and which one do you usually use in your lighting design calculations. Okay, so this is the same project. It's um, the, the first one is the original design and the second one is done in Dialaxivo and this is the revision. So this is the AGI 32 report. It has been done in one page only. You can see here. So this is the lighting layout extracted from AGI 32. And these are the reports. You can see the lax value, minimum, maximum, and overall uniformity. And also the luminaire used. And these are the mounting height. It's so small in there. So it's just one page calculation report because this design is just for a simple calculation, simple room calculation. And then the revision is done in AGI 32. So I did this one and this is how it looks. Okay, so I added the page and then the BOQ specification here, some images. And then every room, you can see here, yeah, these are the reports. So what do you think is the best? Because um, for me, I think this is, you can do it in the same effort and at the same time, I mean, uh, the length of the time that you're going to do it, it's this, the same. But the report, in my opinion, of AGI 32 is so simple, but it lacks on some information, which is very important in lighting design. Say, for example, you want to show the uh, lighting power density. You can see here, you can see that this is the per room. You will see those uh, summary of the lux value, overall uniformity, and also this lighting power density, and also the luminaire list. And the calculation report is based on this standard. And uh, what else? Yeah, the, the very important one, the reflection factors like for the ceiling, walls, and floors. Maintenance factor also is there. And the height of the room and the wall zone and calculation surfaces. And of course, you can have the images per room. Of course, you can also do that in uh, AGR32, but you need to really do uh, the, the page by page manually like as in manually and it's time consuming to create every page for every room in AGI 32. But in Dialux, you just need to click and tick and select which one or which pages you want to include in your report. Okay, so yeah, and also in AGI, AGI they can also produ produce some images like this one. And, and it's a separate one and they can also add it in the report in the PDF. But again, it's the same thing. You need to do it manually. Like you need to insert the image port or the viewport and everything and other information or details inside those pages. While in Dialux Evo, you can just create it, create a view or image, and then it will automatically insert in the calculation report. And it's I think faster and much presentable. In my opinion, also the Dialux Evo report is more formal, <laughs> unlike in AGI 32 because it's so customized. Unless, of course, you have the company has their own um, title block and outlined for the report. But most of the time, the report of AGI 32 is not so formal compared to the Dialux Evo. So that's it. Let me know if you have the same experience because right now I'm using AGI 32 and a, uh, Dialux Evo for some projects. For outdoor, mostly um, AGI 32, especially in sports lighting. But for indoor and architectural, I used Dialux Evo. Okay, so g give me your comments and let me know if you prefer Dialux Evo or AGI 32. All right, see you again on the next topic. I think tomorrow I will discuss about some Q and A because I have received a lot of questions in my channel and also in Facebook and WhatsApp. So yes, I will start answering them tomorrow. All right, see you again on the next video.